<laughs> okay, cool. So we have 14 muscle balance with my lovely assistant. Shelly. Shelly. Good. And you have a little shoulder pain over here, and you said maybe some tailbone pain. Mm -hmm. And pain scale, 0 to 10, what's this? It's about a 3. It's about a 3. Okay. How's the tailbone right now? Um, I really notice it's okay when I stand. I notice it more when I'm sitting down okay. and, and then getting back up and standing up. Can you take your shoes off? Yes. This is going to maybe show something different. Good shoes are valuable, but we take them off and it's just you now. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Now we, know we don't have any different orthotics affecting the test or anything like that. So we're just going to set up a little muscle test in the beginning. Can, I, can you bring this forward right here? Actually, let's do our switching points first. Can you be good kinesiologist. Cover your belly button and follow me. Find your clavicle and drop down into that little notch right there. Just like that, and shake those buttons. Walk on our clients through all of this. And then switch hands. Attendant? Yeah. Let's go to the bottom and top leg. Check that. Switch hands. And we go to your tailbone. Definitely want that area to be awake. Mm -hmm. Switch hands. Rub the bottom of your brain. <laughs> Good, relax that. Okay, assess both arms for me. Both up and left like that, let's see if they work. Good, and we're gonna just see if they can turn off for us. Now hold again. Good, they can turn off, hold, and then we'll check this meridian, hold again, yeah, that was a big difference. <laughs> yeah, that one gets me. Good, and hold again, good, so let's just check this one, nice and solid, now bring your arm down a little bit, right there. Can you tug a little hair for me, just check some hydration, good, and hold that right there, feels pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, relax that. Good, so we're all pre-checked. Sounds good. So we had a pain scale of about three right here. Now we're going to throw something mental into it because we want you to go towards what you want, not away from what you don't want. We in the West like to get away from symptoms and we're really good about that. But guess what we do? Here's my symptom. Now I'm in limbo. I have one neural pathway back to symptom. That's it. That's all I know. If I go towards my my goal and towards what I want, I start to program the body towards that only and eventually disintegrate the pathways back towards the symptom. Makes sense? What's this keeping me from doing? Oh, um, continue, like it happens when I'm writing, so I have to like take breaks and I can't write and type as long as I want to. Mm -hmm. um, it does affect my work after a while. As a massage therapist. What's the most important thing that's keeping me from doing? I guess my overall uh, energy level. And okay. Because with the pain, my energy goes down. Okay. And I feel good. Okay. So if your shoulder felt good, right, we're going to stick with this one for right now, okay? Okay. So if your shoulder felt good, do you think your energy would be up? Yes. Okay. So you want good energy during the day, yes. right? So if we had good energy, then the shoulder would be fine. Or is it the shoulder it needs to be fine before you have good energy? Do we need to fix the shoulder to have good energy? Or do we, can we have good energy and just assume the shoulder's good? You want good energy, right? Yeah. Put your arms up. Okay. And your name? Shelly. Say my name is Shelly. My name is Shelly. Cool. Say my name is Jennifer. My name is Jennifer. Cool. All right. We see. Mm, you, like yeah. mm, you are switched. Yes. Do that right there. Got switched. Right there, top to bottom. I had you thinking deeply. <laughs> <laughs> Good example. This happens sometimes mid session when they start getting stressed about their goal statement or something. You got to stop and do this again. Good. Hey, my name is Shelly. My name is Shelly. Hey, my name is Brittany. My name is Brittany. Okay, that's not the truth. <laughs> my name is Shelly. 
My name is Shelly. So we know what a truth looks like and a lie looks like. That's just a little test to show this is not the truth. And it's pretty revealing when we start to get the deeper testings that what you think is the truth may not be resonating in the body. And the body's like, that's not really the truth. Man, I wanted that to be the truth. That was not really the truth. Let's go back to the goal statement. So we have the shoulder, right? So let's state this. You want good energy, right? Yeah. If that's keeping you from having good energy, we want good energy. We know the symptom is keeping that. Say this. I have great energy during the day. I have great energy during the day. Cool. I do not have great energy during the day. I do not have great energy during the day. Oh. Which one felt stronger? Probably that second one. Yeah. That's what you believe right now, which yeah. what's the results are showing right now. What you want the other. Yes. Say it again. I want good energy during the day. I want good energy during the day. Good. Okay, relax that. So if you had to rate the stress around that goal, you're still attached to the shoulder, how would you rate that? Zero to ten. Um, I'll rephrase that. If you had the stress about accomplishing that goal of having good energy, is it stressful? Uh, like, yeah, like a, it's not like high stress, probably four. Okay, so three, four is where we're about yeah. the shoulder and the goal. Yeah. Beyond the shoulder is just to have good energy, right? Okay. Can you lie on the table for me? Okay. Face up. You want my head here? Yep, or? face up. Okay. Start with so when I say think about that goal, you just think about that goal. Of course, we want your shoulder to feel good and you have good energy during the day, all right? We're testing this muscle first. Come up like this, turn your hand, relax it. I'm gonna push it, relax the whole arm. I'm gonna push in that direction, okay? okay. Super spinatus, hold steady. Good, relax that one. Same thing, we're going in that direction, hold steady. Not the same, is it? Mm -hmm. no? So we're gonna go some some of these buttons. Is that tender? Yeah, no, I feel it, but so it's if not we go bad. Right up in there. Yeah, it's a little far right. when you go down. Can you a little use bit. your other hand and rub right there for me? Like that amount of pressure. Just kind of shake that. So we can get you to help while I go back to this point on the neck. These are neural lymphatic. These are neural lymphatic points for that supraspinatus muscle. Good. Let's try that. You can relax that arm. Hold here. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? That was mm -hmm. really solid. Touch that point one more time for me. We're gonna challenge it. Hold it again. It went wobbly again, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, relax that. So we need to do more reflex work. And now we go to the vascular points. There's two here and one on the top. Really light pressure. Just think about that goal. How good your shoulder can feel, have good energy. seconds 60 seconds up to 10 minutes if you want to do really stressful try it again hold here that's good feels pretty good right mm -hmm. touch that one again that should have cleared but we did that good now touch the points i was on the forehead really lightly hold here again feels good solid pass the challenge we're good with that muscle okay can you scoot to the edge of the table a little bit tuck your hand under like this and let your elbow fall down. We'll stabilize here and I'm pulling straight up. Hold it straight back. Okay, hold it to the floor. Pull it down. Good. Scoop to that side. That's the Terry's major. Terry's major's, major's governing chain. Let it fall down as much as you can. And hold down. That one comes up, doesn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Scoop back to this center a little bit. So the governing ups are in the center. In the center. Relax. So we have a point. Between the second and third rib, so if you guys wanted to follow along your books, right there. Feel that point? Can you rub that one? Just getting you involved a little bit. And I'm going to go back to the one on the back. Same cervical lymph nodes? Mm -hmm. I'm next to the. Different point. Yep, different point. 
between the first and second, second and third ribs in the back. Second and third. Good. Scoot to the edge again. Tuck under. Hold it down. Ready, go. Still moves a little bit, doesn't it? Okay. Come to the center. So we know we could add some more reflex, so we're going to go to the vascular point now. Okay. The lymphatics. Did a little bit, but not enough. Try it on the temple. Think about that goal. Down, ready, hold it. That's nice. Can you take that hand and cover right there? A little point right there. Yep, hold that down again. How's that feel? Yeah. Or move your hand, hold it. Does it feel about the same? Mm -hmm. it feels like you could be a little bit stronger than me, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Roll on your side a little bit. So the governing channel runs from the sacrum up over the head to that bottom lip. So we're just going to run that forward. Times. Swipe up the governing channel. Good. Turn back. Hang off right there. Good. And hold it down. Mm. <laughs> Touch right there. The end of the meridian. You're challenging the meridian now. Hold down. Still moved, didn't it? So relax. And I'm going to go right to the muscle now. Right to Terry's major. Oh, probably doesn't feel that good. If I can get to the tendon and the other tendon, just kind of shake the tendons. Sometimes that'll just wake it up. Tuck under again. Stay back and hold down. Good. So, in order for me to touch that, it's hard to get to. Touch it right here again. I should have cleared that too. Hold. Solid. Relax. Touch it one more time in the clear. Solid. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Good. Back to the center. So we had to do a little extra work on that one. So we have lymphatics, vascular. The acupuncture line and the actual muscle on that one. Okay, now here, turn 90 and 90. I'm gonna push down and out that way, okay? Hold step. That's pec clavicular head. Take this one straight up over your shoulder. Come up, turn it, and hold that way. Yeah, that one moves a little bit, doesn't it? So I always go back and forth. Let me see this one again. Hold here, solid, doesn't move. Do this one again. Hold it, and it's more obvious, isn't it? Sometimes we need to go, if we're unsure, just go back and forth a couple times. We want both sides to feel the same. So that one moved a little bit. What's stomach related? There's a lymphatic, right? Usually where women will have their, their bra line. Sometimes metal um, underwires, really not the best idea because it's pressing really hard on the ribs. Lymphatic fluid moves from muscle contraction. If your muscles can't contract in the area, it's not gonna move the lymphatic here. Okay? So I'm gonna show you, because you're gonna work this one. We're gonna go under, okay? You okay? Mm -hmm. So this one actually starts, like at the sternum, sometimes we'll run all the way out. Any tenderness? Mm -hmm. Right yeah. there. Can you find that spot and dig in there like I'm finding? So actually here, if you can keep your fingers right between his ribs where we are and kind of rub there and up to the sternum. If I need their spots, I'm gonna do the one in the back. It's between the same ribs in the back, but in the back, how she does that one. Center. 
Some of these points in the front are, are really tender on people because they've never really been worked. We don't think to, to rub the ribs like that in the front. Okay, relax that. Ooh, let's breathe that one. <laughs> we good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come up. Turn it. Hold it. That's way better. Touch that spot one more time. And hold it. Okay. Good. That worked. Shoo. <laughs> so that was Peck Clavicure Care, good uh, PMC we call it. Uh, now next, latissimus dorsi. Come down, twist your wrist in, keep your elbow as straight as you can, and we're going to make sure that their shoulder is not doing this. Just let that relax, keep the elbow as straight as you can, and just let them get it as straight as they can. Some people can't straighten it all. Alright, I'm going to come straight out. Ready? Hold right there. Good. Let it go. Thing. Keep that straight as you can get it. Hold it. Good. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Right? All right. Next one, subscapularis. So you come up as level as possible that they can get. Let that fall down. Let it fall down as far as they can get it. Don't push it down. So that's the, her range right now. Okay? Stabilize the elbow and you're going to hold your wrist to the floor. Ready? Hold it down. Good. Let it go. Seems to work pretty good. Subscapularis. Just let it fall down as far as you can. Is that it? Okay. Hold that down. That one moves a little bit more. Yep. So that was second and third, right there at the clavicle is the first and second. Second and third, you rub in there. So they can do it, or as a therapist, you can easily do both sides too. I like to get my clients to do some so they know it's okay to rub your own boo-boos. You can go home and rub these buttons. And especially lymphatic fluid. It's not like we're gonna stimulate it now and it's all gonna be gone. It still needs some, some time to move through the system and they go drink some water, contract the muscle, stretch a little bit. So many times that's homework for them to go rub those same spots. Okay, so fold down as much as you can right there. Hold down, good. Touch right there for me. Hold it down. Moves again. Let go. So we have a vascular point right there at that anterior fontanelle. For the subscap. Think about that goal. Shoulder feels great. Have great energy through the day. Next one is quadriceps. So why don't you go back to the middle of the bag after we do the, um, the uh, neurovascular? Why don't I go back to it? You, ha you have her challenge the neurovascular. Did you have to challenge the neuro? Uh, challenge the very last reflex you work. We challenge lymphatic. I watched Dr. Thee do the same thing, and he challenged the one, like two previous. And I, it's been taught two different ways. Okay. Oh, we're screwing the video. <laughs> it's good, good working knowledge. So, if we do it in this kind of priority order, we do lymphatics, vascular, meridian muscle. Okay. We're kind of teaching in that order because it seems to be that's the majority of people will have lymphatic issues and then vascular. Yeah, I understand. But yep, the, the challenge part? The lymphatic check was where the challenge failed. Then you did the neurovascular. So, because we, we already did the lymphatics and it held strong. Okay. I see what you're saying. So we rubbed on them, it was strong. Then we challenged the lymphatics, it turned off. Right. That tells us that we need to do a different reflex because the lymphatic already strengthened the muscle. Okay. Right? All right? It doesn't mean that the lymphatic turned off, it just means that says we need to go next, next in line. Okay. Right? Yep. So then we go to the vascular point. And then we stimulate that. We check it in the clear by itself. 
and then we challenge the very last reflex we worked again. All right. Okay. Because that tells us if we're done. What will happen if it's good learning moment? If I'm here and we rub that and we test it in the clear and she touches it and it feels stronger while she's touching it, that's going to tell me that I could do more of the same reflex. So that could be a good note to put in your book right now. Because think about that. We're, as we get to the challenge part, it's going to tell us to go to the next reflex, but only when that turns off. If it gets stronger, we should do the same reflex longer. Okay. Cool. I'll try to reiterate that when we get to the all working with the new reflexes. Okay. Can you overwork stuff? Yeah. Yeah. You can. I took I took a six. Can you overwork stuff? Yep. Actually, you can. But I've got the whole theory on chi units that I'm going to write about. <laughs> But lymphatics, yeah, I worked with uh, Cha um, the Chapman's Girl Lymphatics for a 16 hour weekend with Orchabonomy, trained with them. And yes, you can overwork it. And there's where it's, yeah, it'll shut down eventually. And then you're just taxing the overwhelm into the whole system and it needs a break. Uh, chiropractor I first trained with, he had a little test to check, to check the seat. <coughs> you add that overwhelm phase and it's like, we're done with the session for the day. So let's get back to your session. My shoulder feels great. I have great energy in the day. Bend your knee up. Bend, come up so you can see the toe. So the eye is right over there. Good. Hold this towards your head. Ready? Hold it. Good. Hold your foot towards the ceiling. Good. Try to do both together. Hold that way and that way. Don't let me push it down. Good. Okay. So bend. See your toe. Good. Hold your knee towards your head. Solid. Hold your foot to the ceiling. Hold both together. That one feels better than the other side. So I'm also paying attention to that. Now I thought that was strong, but this one was stronger. Now we know that this one's not as strong. So that's why, I go back and forth. Okay? Hold that again. I can, I can even tell when we do that. Mm -hmm. So we thought that that was a strong one. Real, that's the really other problem. All right. So all along this rib part here. Right, hold the bend. Tender anywhere along here. It's like that whole region. Yeah, when you were down here, mm -hmm. I felt it a little bit. We have bit a couple more. little false ribs right here where the, the, the cartilage is different. Right. It separates right there, so sometimes our like points get tender. But can you rub along here, all along there, and find any tenderness, okay? Good. At the same time, while you do that, you're going to come under the body and do those back points. Three or four right in the mid thoracic area. Quadriceps. You don't have to be like me <laughs> and wear your hands out. You can have her sit up if you want. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Relax that. Let's try that. Bend it. Hold towards your head. Better. Mm -hmm. Cover your rib right there. So it goes down a little bit. Okay. So we have some vascular points to do. Hold the head. Up here on the parietal eminence. Hold towards your head. So, touch right there. Cover the whole spot. 
Hold it. Good. Put your hand down. Hold your foot straight up. Hold that way and that way. It's ultimate challenge. <laughs> good deal. Flex steps feel good. Next muscle, peroneus. So we're in the bladder. You're gonna, this was a little tricky. <laughs> Flex your pinky toe up and out towards right there. Feel that engage? Mm -hmm. Hold right there. Good, let it go. Flex up and out. Hold it right there. Good, let it go. That was bladder. So as kidney related. Keep your knee straight, roll this out. Right? Keep your knee straight. Come up to the ceiling. Come up, 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 up. Hold right there. Hold it. Good. Hard to do? <laughs> yeah. It actually worked. <laughs> it's usually it's surprising like that. Oh. Roll it out. Pick it up. Up, 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 up. Hold it. There we go. That's the one that's not working. <laughs> so, so as on that side. Did you feel that in your low back? Sometimes people mm. with low back pain, that's a really hard test to do. So if you noticed, when we go to really learn the muscle, reiterate it, I helped her. I had a good grip of it. And I helped her with the weight. And I still have a hold of it. So when I test it and it goes weak, give me it, I can help her down. Somebody says a lot of back pain, it's not gonna be very pleasant to test this muscle. Okay, so you're gonna help them up and help them down. So they're just, good luck out there when I let go. Okay, cause more problems. Sometimes I've had clients with such back pain, I just go like this. Can you pick your leg up? Harder, isn't it? Can you pick that leg up like that? A little easier? Is it both hard? Um, well, my adductors are weak, or I have, I don't, I hurt them from doing, going up and down a ladder right. when I was doing some work. So I feel like I have to engage more by picking this leg up. Okay. How about if I start here and I'll pick it up? Pick it up. Pick it up. Right, let it go. Pick it up. That's just a lot easier to pick up. This one is? And then yeah. when we test it in its full contraction, hold right here, it drops. Yeah. So when we do this one, it doesn't. So isn't it funny what our perception is of our body until we do accurate muscle tests? Because <laughs> really what you're feeling is compensation. Yeah. Until we put it in its prime movement position, we realize this is the guy that's not working. Okay. So let's work that so as. So your navel, we go out an inch, up an inch. So right around there where the skin is. Um, it's tender. Can you rub that? You're kind of moving the skin right across the muscle. Go to the back, next to 12, go one. When I do the back points, I usually have a good surface. I'm not going to like a micro spot, just the whole area. All right, let's try that. Here, and hold it up. Oh yeah, just that spot. And hold it up. Came right up, I didn't even have to help you. Came right up. Let's check out, make sure. Feel the same? Mm -hmm. Good. Cool. Glute medius. I like to come to the center and then come out. Hold this leg out. Good. Relax that. Hold this one out. Feel the same? Do that again. That one yeah. up. Yeah. Hold that. So, this one. About the same? Yeah. Good. That's real good. All right. That was glute medius. Next one. Terry's minor. Here, and let that fall back, hold back. Good. Good. Terry's minor. Strip warmer. Hold back. Good. We know this one, anterior deltoid. Come up right here, hold right there. Good. Work. This one. Hold it. Good. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Another peck. The sternal head, same position as the other one, but I'm going to pull out like that, okay? So hold towards that hip. Hold there. Good. So this one's straight up. Hold that way. Good. Keep that there. Here. Reach above a little bit. Right there. Hold that way. Pull above your head. Good. Serratus interior. 
here's the thumb up, reach a little bit, and hold right there. Good. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. And then we go here, fascia lato, so rotate it in, come up and out. Now hold up and out. Good. And do that one and hold up and out. Not the same. So that's a lymphatic all along the IT band. tender at all? It was like a certain point, and yeah, like right there. Yeah. Feel like. Yeah. It's like a stringy little mass. <laughs> That's what we call it. <laughs> Feel those lymph vessels kind of clogged right through there. some stuff in the back. Big triangle with the left back. Like that. Rotate it. Bring it up and out. And hold it. South. Touch your thigh on the side. Hold it up and out. Stay south. Feels good. Can you sit up? Can you sit up? Get your bearing straight. Yeah. <laughs> mm, you look energetic. <laughs> How's your shoulder? It feels good. Where's the pain you used to have? It's <laughs> walked away. <laughs> no, let's check the goal. Remember what was the goal earlier? It was for me to have more energy. So I have great energy during the day. I have great energy during the day. Hold that. So that's a really solid belief right there. We don't yes. get any stress pattern. Good for change. All right. Thank you. Thank you. 14 muscle balance with teaching on the side.